Hi there. Happy feast day of St. Jane de Chantal. Jane was an incredible woman, if you didn't know already. She was strong, faith-filled, intelligent, and she was able to accomplish so much in her lifetime. She was a baroness who ran her own estate. She was the mother of children, eventually became a nun. And not just any nun, she became the foundress of her order and was able to establish 86 monasteries in 31 years before she died. Her accomplishments and her achievements are vast. They're incredible, even. But those aren't what make Jane such a wonderful saint. What makes Jane a saint is that, it, despite the adversity she faced in life, she persevered, she endured with courage, and she never stopped trusting in God and his love for her. If you know anything about Jane's life, she had incredible hardships. At 18 months old, her mother died. So she was without a mom for all of her childhood. She eventually got married and was madly in love with her husband, but it was all cut short from her when he died as a result of a hunting accident. This widowed her and sent her to live with her father-in-law and her father-in-law's mistress, both of whom were not so nice to Jane. In fact, they made her life miserable. But despite all of this, Jane kept her faith. She endured with courage. When I look at my life and I look at the circumstances we're in, it's hard to find courage in life. There are so many things right now going on to be scared of, to be worried about, to have anxiety over. Well, Jane, of course, as a wonderful saint she is, left us with a few words to ponder on her feast day. She says, We have to have a strong, unshakable, long-winded courage when we undertake the good works committed to us by God. And as long as we see his holy will in them, we must never grow slack. Should he wish us to cease trying, even if we fail, we must let go gently and peaceably. Jane teaches us that no matter what happens in life, whether it goes really well or it doesn't go well at all, we need to have courage. The courage to keep going, to keep persevering, and when God kind of lets go of a situation, for us to be able to let go of it as well. We can do these things with the help of God, knowing that God is guiding us through this life. So let's follow the wisdom of Jane DeShanto. Let's live boldly, joyfully with courage, knowing that Jesus Christ is for us and will see us through. May God be praised.